prominent northern politicians plan to remove President Bola Metinibu as the president of Nigeria. Hello viewers and welcome to InfoGIS TV. According to Senator Sani, the politicians conceal a larger agenda aimed at forming a strong northern alliance to challenge and depose President Bola Ametinibu in 2027. Former federal lawmaker Shehu Sani has criticized the recent visit by some prominent northern politicians to Dara, the hometown of Nigerians' immediate past president, Muhammadu Buhari. According to the Senator Sani, the politicians conceal a larger agenda aimed at forming a strong northern alliance to challenge and the post President Bola Metinibu in 2027. Sani, who made the statement on Monday in a post on his Facebook page, described it as a regrouping of northern political forces for the next general elections a project that will eventually kiss the dust. Sani expressed concern over the politicians' attempts to revive Buhari's political influence without addressing past failures. They want to resurrect Buhari's political charm, fanatism, and mobilize the gullible to another hollow and be withering end. He remarked, highlighting increased poverty and insecurity during Buhari's presidency. He criticized the premature plotting by northern elites against Tinibu, emphasizing the political risk to national unity. Their obsession with power is condemnable, Sani noted, cautioning against exploiting northern sentiments for political gain. Sani concluded by urging the northern citizens to reject such maneuvers, asserting that the Dara homage of the disgruntled and the obsessed will fail. Our people in the north should reject these faces and their plots. They have nothing to offer. His remarks reflect growing tensions within the northern politicians ahead of the upcoming electoral cycle. Some of the prominent northern politicians who recently visited Buhari in Daura are former Vice President Atiku Abubakar, the former Governor of Kaduna State Nasir Erufai, and the immediate past Governor of Sokoto State Aminu Waziru Tambua, now seen it. Senator Pres representing the Sokoto South. Meanwhile, the Meita Alakata Breeder Association of Nigeria, Magban, has demanded the creation of a federal ministry for livestock and fisheries that will work towards exploiting the potential in the subsector which has. The Senator on Wednesday. June 5th passed for a second reading, a bill that seeks to establish a national agency for the regulation and management of ranches in Nigeria. The bill titled a bill to establish a national animal husbandry and ranches commission for the regulation and management, preservation and control of ranches throughout Nigeria and for connected purposes 2024 was sponsored by Senator Titus Zam. APC Benry Northwest. Zam in his lead debate noted that the Senate was aware of the increasing wave of violent conflicts between pastoralists and farmers in Nigeria. He said such conflicts have assumed a warlike dimension with a far reaching negative impact on the people and country as a whole. However, Alaji Baba Usman, Magban's president, told our reporters on Monday that the proposed National Animal Husbandry and Ranches Commission for the regulation, management, preservation and control of ranches will only address one aspect of livestock, livestock which is ranching. He urged President Bola Metinibu's administration to implement the recommendation of the livestock reforms and mitigation committee
to seek a lasting solution to the perennial farmer headers conflict in rural areas. We need the creation of a full-blown or full-fledged ministry for livestock that will work towards exploiting the enormous potential the subsector has and address the entire livestock value chain benefits for the interest of the nation rather than a commission that will only address one aspect of livestock which is ranching. Livestock is not doing well today because it is being handled by a mayor department in the Federal Ministry of Agriculture. It contributes below 15% to overall GDP of the country because attention is not given to it. This is one of the reasons we are agitating for a ministry just like they have in other African countries where livestock contributes a good percentage to their GDP. We have submitted the report of the committee headed by the former chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, Professor Atahiru Jega, on livestock reform and mitigation sometime last year. This requires the creation of the Ministry of Livestock and Fisheries so that livestock-related issues can be given due attention, he stated. He further stated that they are looking forward for the president to establish the implementation committee so that the implementation of that report starts in earnest. Now, this has generated a lot of reactions from Nigerians, and these are what people have to say. Opeemi Sope commented that when they tell them to get education, they prefer quota system. All those things mentioned are under the Ministry of Agriculture. And Mr. Meita Allah, or whatever you call yourself, cattle rearing, is a personal business. Don't hold government to ransom for business you personal, personally do. Uja James also commented, Imagine the audacity give us like it is their bet right. Nigeria is not the property of Fulani headsmen. Nzenwa Charles also commented that if Tinibu grants their request, then Fulanese will automatically colonize the waterways in the southeast and also they will create laws to favor their cows everywhere in Nigeria, the northern politics for you. See Melody. Nomsi also commented, if that's the case, other business associates should as well seek for their own ministry since you do not know that your livestock are under agriculture. Victor Lockie also commented, he is right as far as Gumi is a minister of Arewa, got talent, everyone have right.